Okay, for dinner today, I'm gonna be making some nachos, but I'm gonna be making them from scratch. I'm gonna make the chips, and I have some leftover barbecue. You need to we barbecue all the time, so I'm gonna use that as my toppings, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Y'all don't need to see me cut, and I'm just gonna warm it up, cut it up, and then I will be right back with you guys whenever I start making the chips. Okay, I already got the um, ribs in the air fryer and then I just need to air fry the chicken. And of course it's not to cook it, everything's already cooked. It's just to warm it up. I was gonna say preheat. Uh, it's just to heat it up again, make it crispy. And then I'm gonna cut it up and then start making the chips. Now I got that out, put the chicken in there and let's start cutting this. I just finished the uh, warming up and cutting up the chicken and the ribs, there it is. But I think I messed up because I probably should have started the chips first and then did this. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this little mess that I got here and then be back once I start making the chips. I already got my area cleaned. I love to clean as I go. I do not like to wait to the end. I love to clean as I go. So I'm gonna cut my tortillas and then I'm gonna cut a couple of these as well. I have some olive oil and olive oil they're two different ones this is one that i had before and i had some leftovers so i'm just gonna use both of them and i'm gonna put it in there and cut these up and then we'll see how they come out oil to like catch the grease because I just don't want to wash it and I'm gonna cover with napkins and then I'm gonna put this to hopefully like drain the chips it's gonna be a first I've never tried it so I don't know I just thought of it right now and it seemed like a good idea so hopefully it is a good idea I'm still waiting on that oh. I'm still waiting on that to warm up. So when it is, I will be back. I literally recorded putting them in and it was on picture the whole time. So anyway, they're in and I'm gonna see if my little concoction thing works. Hopefully it does. Cause we gotta try and get all the grease out as possible because what, you already know. We're healthy, duh. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's hard me doing both at the same time, but I'm thinking that it may work. It may drip the grease down. Let me do a little bit more and then I will be back to show you guys if it continues to work out for it. Okay, I already did the chips and they came out pretty good. I actually did like this thing cause it kept up it's like I mean it dropped the grease through there so now I'm gonna warm up some cheese and make the nachos all that grease oops
Okay, the first plate is done. A lot of cheese, meat, chicken, and chips, of course. Now to do mine. Okay, this is it. And I know it doesn't really look all that pretty, and I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to like record everything, but I think today I did have too much on my counter, and it was really hard to have the stand to get the good angles, and then I had my burners, and then I had the chips, and then I had the meats and it was just a lot so anyways long story short they're done and they don't look good but they do taste good so thank you for watching and i will see you next time and all i added in mine was just a little bit of meat some chicken and avocado sour cream and cayenne pepper super easy and simple